<laughs> Mom! Oh, look! Wow, Dave! You're growing up so fast! You can walk all around the room now! Do it again! Watch me! <laughs> I'll always be watching you, sweetie! Now, show your mom what you've got! <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, can you two please tone it down? I have work to do and I can't stand that screaming like there's no tomorrow. Hmm. Steve, look at him. He's mastered his walk now too. Isn't he adorable? <laughs> adorable? Please. Have you seen those eyes? He's anything but adorable. How could you say such things, Steve? He's your child too, remember? <laughs> Whatever. It's not like I really care. I'll be heading back down now, and I better not hear a single sound from this room again, or there will be consequences! Consequences for who? Your two-year-old son who doesn't even know any better? Huh? Keep talking like that and you'll find out soon enough. Now leave me alone. I have work to do. Hmm. Hmm. Dad's scary. Always. It's okay, sweetheart. Don't listen to what he says. Just remember that I will always be there for you. Your mom loves you with all her heart, and nothing in the world will ever change that. So, let's get you ready now. I can't keep Dave away from his favorite ice cream for too long now, can I? <laughs> Dave gets really excited for his ice cream, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Having fun, aren't we, Dave? Look at you go! You've gotten so much faster since the last time Mom saw you this excited! <laughs> Yay! Faster! 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 <laughs> Save your energy for later, sweetie! I don't want to see you get hurt. <laughs> Dave, dear, Mom is going out to get some groceries now, okay? Your dad will be home with you, so you'll be alright, okay? Okay, Mama. I'll stay here. That's right, sweetie. Make sure you stay in your room until Mom gets back. I'll look forward to seeing you walk around the room as always. <laughs> stay safe, sweetie, okay? Yes, okay. <laughs> Oh, it's just you. Where's your mother, Dave? Hmm. Outside! What do you mean, outside? You're telling me to get out of your room? Is that what it's come to now? How dare you! Mom, she's outside now! Mm. <laughs> hmm? No, 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 no! Sweetie, Mom is back. Look what she got for you. <laughs> Dave, oh my goodness, what happened? <clears throat> what is wrong with you, Steve? He's only two. How could you do this? I don't have time for this woman. I've been looking for you for the past 30 minutes, and I find out you're out for groceries? Hmm. But I told you I'd be outside. I literally walked right past you! Didn't you have anything to say to me then? Hmm... I didn't need you at that time. His screeching is driving me crazy! 
Then leave this room right now! I'll come down and talk to you after I'm done taking care of Dave. <sighs> Whatever. Suit yourself. <laughs> I'm so sorry, sweetie. I leave you for a few minutes and this is what happens. I am so sorry, sweetie. <laughs> I'm scared. It hurts, Mom. I wanted to walk. It's okay, Dave. Don't say anything. Mom will see you walking around some other time. <laughs> Let me see where he hurt you. Quickly. Sit still, okay? This might hurt a bit. I was so scared. Remember what Mom told you, Dave. I'll always be here for you when you need me. In fact, I'm sending you my strength at this very moment. <laughs> it's okay, sweetie. I'm here now. I'm here. <laughs> Mom! Dad! I'm so excited to visit Grandma and Grandpa! <laughs> it's been so long, right? <laughs> Sweetie, what are you talking about? We just saw them a week ago. I didn't know you started to miss them this much already. <laughs> really? It only feels like it was yesterday. <laughs> I remember them trying to catch me while I ran all around the house. <laughs> Little Dave has always been quite the runner, hasn't he? Even in this heavy snow, you can't stop running around. <laughs> Just be careful of the snow, okay? Hmm. I don't want you to slip and hurt yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Please, don't remind me of all that running I had to endure for the last three years. I can run away from my work anytime, but not his running. Hmm. Oh, what has my life come to? Steve, please, not today. You can at least try to be nicer to Dave. I don't know why you act like this. I, I just don't get it. Not with this again. Listen, woman, I'm already doing you a favor and going with you to see my parents. Can you at least be a little grateful? God, I'd rather be anywhere else but here, especially with this little... Stop right there. I get the picture. I'm sorry I ever brought it up. Can you at least not say anything until we get to their place? Can you at least do that, if nothing else? Whatever. Just keep walking. Mm. What are you looking at? Go walk with your mom. <sighs> Don't let him bother you, sweetie. I know he can be really mean sometimes. <sighs> Tell you what, I'll get you an extra ice cream cone today, just as a little present from Mom. What do you say? That sounds great, Mom. Thank you. Don't worry, sweetie. I'll always be there for you, remember? I remember, Mom. You were also there for me when my legs were killing me from too much walking around the house. <laughs> Isn't that every day, though? <laughs> <laughs> I still wish Dad was nicer to me, though. I don't know why he's like this. Did I do something wrong, Mom? He's never even smiled at me. I don't know why. Does he? Does he hate me, Mom? Dave, that's simply not true. He might not show it, but deep down inside... I know your dad loves you. I just know it. Huh. If you say so, Mom. But whatever happens, I'm happy I have you by my side, Mom. I can't wait for the day my dad feels the same way about me. You'll see it pretty soon, Dave. You can trust your mom on that one. One day, you'll suddenly have your dad taking you out for a great father-son picnic or whatever it is fathers and sons do. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. I'll look forward to that day.
We're finally here! Dave, Steve, are you as excited as I am? We've walked all this way! Finally! I can't wait to see them again! Whoa. It's been so long! <laughs> yeah, sure it has, sweetie. I still can't believe you made me walk all this way. I do have a car, you know. Why spend the last hour walking when we could have just spent minutes instead? Oh, come on, Steve. Always the killjoy. Can't you enjoy even a little walk on the snow? Mm -hmm. Oh, whatever. Just knock at the door, will you? Oh, I'm freezing here. All right, all right. Stop being such a crybaby. Here I go. Steve, Julie. Dave! Oh, I knew it. I knew you'd come right before Christmas time. Dave, sweetie, your grandpa is going to be so happy. He was missing you so much, even though it has only been a week since you last visited. <laughs> I didn't realize Dave and him got along so well together. Can you blame him, though? James used to be a great runner back in the day. The moment he saw Dave running around our living room, I could tell he was instantly spellbound. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, we can catch up and have our giggles later, too, you know. I'm still freezing here. Mom, do you mind? Hmm? Oh, you. All right, go warm up. I see you haven't been able to give my Steve enough excitement in life yet. He's still as gloomy as ever. <laughs> Believe me, I'm trying. In fact, I'd be surprised if Steve even knew the words laughter and happiness. <laughs> <laughs> Guess who's back? It's me! <laughs> oh, wow! Dave, oh goodness, I was missing you so much! Did my little athlete walk to us today? I can see your legs swelling up already! <laughs> like you always say, Grandpa, practice makes perfect! A little snow isn't going to stop me from running towards you! <laughs> you sound just like me back in the day! Come on, we have a lot of talking to do! <laughs> This is the fastest I've seen James warm up to anyone. You would not believe how gloomy he was just a few moments ago. Oh my! If it's anything like how Steve is, I can imagine it quite well. <laughs> oh, Julie, give my son a break, will you? <laughs> I guess that was a bit too much for me to say. Huh, <laughs> yes, hilarious, ha <laughs> ha. Anyways, Mom, I have some phone calls to make, so I'll be using my room today. See you in a while. Hmm. But you just got here, Steve. Come on, don't be like that. At least spend a few minutes with us. Those phone calls can at least wait a few minutes, can't they? <laughs> well, unlike you, I'm a busy man, Mom. So no, those phone calls cannot wait. <laughs> Look, you have Dave and Julie to keep you company, right? They should be more than enough. Anyway, I'm off now. Don't interrupt me while I'm busy. Hmm. I don't know what happened to him recently. He just seems so cold and distant. This is nothing compared to the way he is at home. I just can't seem to get through to him at all. <sighs> <laughs> oh, Dave, champ! Do you mind playing with your toys for a bit? Me and your mom just need to talk about some things. Don't worry, though. I'll come running to you as soon as we're done. Like always. All right, Grandpa. Make sure you actually run this time and not just walk fast, okay? Mm. <laughs> you should know better than to challenge your Grandpa. I'll come running to you just as promised. You'll see. <laughs> <clears throat> I 
I still can't believe you get along with Dave so well. <laughs> it would take me much more than that to convince him to leave my side. He feels so scared around Steve these days. It's almost impossible for me to leave him alone in the house. I don't blame you, Julie, dear. By what you tell me, I don't think you should ever leave Dave by himself, especially around me. It shames me to say this about my own son, but that's what you should do. <sighs> me and Hannah will talk to Steve and try to knock some sense into him. He's still our son, after all. As parents, we can't give up on him. <clears throat> after Dave, you two are the only other people I feel comfortable around. I'm so sorry to bother you two with this all the time, but I just can't be around him in the house for long. Just like Dave, I do feel scared for what might happen. To me, or to Dave. We both are there for you always, Julie. Stay strong for us, will you? Everything will turn out all right. I promise you that. <laughs> Grandpa James, I still can't believe we have to borrow your car to go all the way back home. Steve, does it really upset you that much just to walk with us? <sighs> I'm not gonna waste time on this again. I have some important work that came up and I need to drop you two as soon as possible. Obviously, that means walking was out of the question. Steve's work gets more and more important every day, Julie. I wonder when the day will come when he stops coming home entirely. <laughs> that actually might not be so bad, you know. <laughs> <sighs> If you two are finished with your little giggling party, shall we leave now? I don't have all day! <sighs> I guess that's my cue for today. Dave, let's go now, okay? Your dad is waiting for us. Alright, Mom. Just finished saying goodbye to Grandpa. Bye. I don't want to leave Grandpa so soon. Can we stay? I want to run with him because of how much he loves running. I know, sweetie, but... We can't. Anyways, I'm gonna go sit in the car. Say goodbye to Grandma as well, and we'll be on our way. <sighs> See you really soon, Grandma! Make those delicious chocolate chip cookies for me the next time, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anything for you, Dave. Just remember to actually tell me you're coming over next time. That way I can make your cookies for you. Anyways, I have to head back in now, so you go with your parents and be a good boy, okay? I can't wait to see you again! Dave! I don't have all day, you know! Get in the car right now! That's my cue, I guess. Okay, Grandma. See you soon. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I've had enough of this! Steve, stop the car! Dave is still outside! What are you doing? Stop the car right now! I don't get it. Why are you like this, Dad? Have I done something? I don't get any of this. Abandoning his own son like this? I never thought Steve had stooped so low. Whatever happened to him in these past few years? He's turned into such a cold and heartless man. Hey, sweetie. I'm so sorry this happened to you. I can't imagine how you must feel. Look, let me first check if you are hurt. You fell really hard outside that snow, didn't you, Dave? Thank you, Grandma. Thank you. I just don't understand why dad is like this. Grandma? Grandpa? Why doesn't my dad ever smile at me? He always seems angry whenever I look at him. I don't get it. Dear, it's not like that. I'm sure your dad loves you deep inside. He has to. <sighs> I just don't believe that anymore. Don't say such things, Dave. You're hurting right now, so I can understand how you feel. But don't say such things about your own father. 
I can't help it, Grandpa. He's been like this for as long as I can remember. Grandpa, I don't know how I can say this. show him any semblance of love at all, and now, now you abandon him out in the snow? What is wrong with you, Steve? Uh, if this is about what happened back in my parents' house, I really couldn't care less. I was busy, didn't I? Then why was he taking so long in the first place? Has he no consideration for the amount of work I have to do? I say he deserved what he got. Hmm. Besides, I didn't abandon him in the middle of nowhere. Mom and Dad probably found him and took care of him. I don't have to worry too much. They called us during our ride back, didn't they? They said Dave was alright. Hmm. Yes, and they also told us how hurt Dave was by that stunt you pulled, Steve! What kind of father are you? Hmm? It's been years and I can't seem to get through to you at all! <clears throat> I don't have time for this woman! Now please, leave me alone and let me go! I have a lot to do today. Dave has you and my parents taking care of him anyways. He doesn't need me around him 24-7. It's useless arguing against you, isn't it? Fine then. Go do your precious work as you always do, Steve. See if I care. No, oh, please. I already know you don't care, Julie. I'll see myself out now. Hmm. <sighs> Sweetie, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I left you alone like that. <laughs> Mom, it wasn't your fault. I don't blame you. It's okay. Really, it's okay. I couldn't imagine your dad would do something like this. He left you all alone out there. I was so worried about you, sweetie. When your grandpa called me, I was so relieved you were okay. I cannot even imagine what's going through your head right now. Sweetheart, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Calm down, Julie, dear. It's not your fault. Dave doesn't blame you for anything that happened back there. He says so himself, doesn't he? He knows how much you care about him. Hmm. Grandpa, why is Dad like this with me? I don't understand. Um, does my dad hate me? Why is he always so angry around me? Why does he look so mean every time I try to talk to him? I don't know what I can do anymore. Is there something wrong with me, Mom? Have I done something wrong? <laughs> Dave, there are some things in life which do not have a clear answer. I don't know what's on your father's mind anymore. He seems so cold, so... so distant. I wish I could talk some sense into him, but I doubt I can do anything. <sighs> Still, I'm not going to give up. I love you with all my heart. Dave, truly Hannah, even Steve. I promise I'll do everything I can to fix this. I'll talk to Steve this evening and try to patch things up. Are you sure about this, Grandpa? What if he gets even angry at me because of this? I can't see him like that. I'm already so scared. Mom, isn't there something else we could do? Please? I've tried everything I can, sweetie. Maybe your grandpa is right. Let him try to talk to your dad. Maybe that's what your dad needs. <laughs> I don't think it's what he needs, but... I'm going to try regardless. I'm sick and tired of seeing Dave like this. I have to try and do something. Grandpa, thank you, Grandpa. You always make me feel safe. Thank you. Anything for my little runner. Now listen to me, Dave. Me and your dad will try to talk things out, okay? But for now, I want you to cheer up and forget about what happened. I know it's very difficult right now, but... 
do it for your mom, will you? Ah, oh, you don't want her to be upset for the whole day, right? Hmm. Of course not. I'll always stay happy and joyful for my mom. Always. She's always been by my side all this time. It's now time for me to do the same for my mom. <sighs> Sweetie, thank you. I'll always be there to protect you, no matter what. This is amazing, Mom! I knew that camping would be fun, but I didn't realize just how fun it really is. I can't wait for the marshmallows to finish roasting! <laughs> oh, you haven't seen anything yet, sweetheart. Even the marshmallows are just the start. I cannot wait to show you the starry sky late at night. I remember my parents used to sit me down during our campouts and they would show me the night sky. I just cannot describe it, but... I can show it to you. <laughs> oh, wow. I can't wait. It sounds incredible. Dad always says it's just white dots in the black sky, but I know there must be more than that. Your dad isn't exactly the type of person who knows how to have fun, remember? Hmm. You never know, though. One of these days, he might actually appreciate the night sky for what it is. Don't you think so, Dave? Hmm? Eh... I don't know. I'm too busy looking at how irritated he gets when he so much as looks at me. Sometimes Dad scares me, Mom. I know I shouldn't say such things, but I really don't feel comfortable around him anymore. Hey, don't worry, okay? I'll make sure he never does anything to hurt you. You trust me, right, Dave? Do you trust your mother to protect you? Hmm. I'll always trust you completely, Mom. I know you'll always be there for me as you've been all this time. Hmm. Are you serious right now? I spent months working on this report and you have the audacity to lose it. Are you out of your mind? What am I supposed to do now? <sighs> Sounds like your dad is having a bad day, doesn't it? He's always the scariest when he's angry like this. Tell you what, I think we need a change of mood. Worrying about your dad will only ruin the camping. I'll bring out some more marshmallows from the tent, okay? You enjoy the warm fire, okay, sweetie? Hmm. I don't know, Mom. I don't want him to suddenly come out while you're away. Can't I just go with you? Don't worry, sweetheart. It'll only take a few seconds. <laughs> Look, I'll even run just like you do. That way, it'll take even less time. What do you say? Hmm? Um, okay, Mom. I'll wait right by the fire, then. It'll only take a second. Plus, I'll give you most of the marshmallows we roast today. How does that sound? That sounds great! I can't wait! Whoa. Be right back then! A oh, bunch of idiots! No good troublemakers! Oh, what am I supposed to do now? I'm not gonna spend the next few months with that report! There's no way! Oh. Hmm. What are you looking at, kid? You find this funny? You find it funny that your dad's life is literally falling apart? No, Dad. I'm sorry. <sighs> what do you mean you're sorry? Sorry for what? And what's with that tone, kid? Now you're just gonna look away while I'm talking to you? Look, I'm in a terrible mood right now, and you better answer me when I talk to you. Now answer me! What are you sorry for exactly? I'm sorry for... What's with the stuttering? Talk to me clearly. What? You can't use your tongue anymore? Is that it? First you ignore my questions and then you talk to me like this? I've had enough of you, you little... Help! I'm joking! 
No, oh, how convenient, little man. Now cut the act right this instant. Dad, I'm serious. Please, help me. Dad! If you want to continue this, I'll just sit here and watch you. Let's see how long you can keep this up. A minute? Five minutes? Ten minutes? Huh? I'll be right here. Uh, it hurts. Dad, please. Sweetheart, I'm back. <laughs> Dave, sweetheart, you're choking! Not me. Please forgive Daddy, because he doesn't know what he's doing. I love you, Mom. <laughs> Speak to me, Dave. Sweetheart, please talk to me. Wow, he's really committed to this choking act, isn't he? You monster! What is wrong with you? Stop standing there and call an ambulance right now! I've made some hot chocolate for you, Julie. It should warm you up a little. Thank you. Julie, about last week. I know it must be eating you up inside and I understand. I can't even begin to imagine what you're going through, dear. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for what happened. It's okay. You're not the one to blame. It's not your fault. Neither is it yours, Julie. You have to stop beating yourself up like this. Whatever happened was Steve's fault, and his fault alone. Blaming yourself isn't going to fix anything, is it? He trusted me. Dave, he trusted me to always protect him and to always be there for him. And what did I do? I, I left him alone. Uh, look what happened. Because of my mistake. How? How could I imagine what he'd do to my sweetheart? After what my son pulled, he's been arrested and I expect he'll be behind bars for a long time. I can't believe I'm saying this as his father, but he deserved what he got. He took my little runner away from me. <laughs> I never imagined it would come to this. What happened to our Steve? I can't even imagine what Dave must have thought back there. He tried to tell me not to leave him out there alone. What on earth was I thinking? Why? Why did I leave him alone out there? <laughs> oh, my mistake has cost me my son's life. I should have learned my lesson from all those years. What's wrong with me? How can I do this to Dave? How can I leave him alone when he needed me the most? <laughs> Julie, there's nothing I can say that would make your guilt any less severe. However, I want you to know that Dave loved you dearly. He would hate to see you like this. You know that, right? You were literally his superhero, Julie. Whatever Dave must have been thinking in his final moments. I'm sure he would never hold any hatred towards you. Even though you left him out there, don't think for even a second that Dave blamed you for what happened to him. Hmm. You don't have to do this for us, but at least do it for Dave. Like Hannah said, Dave would never want to see you like this. Imagine him with you right at this moment. Do you think he could stand seeing his mother so upset? He... He would simply hold my hand and tell me to run with him around our room. <laughs> it will take you a while to calm down, but remember, Julie, we will be there to support you. You're like family to us now. 
No matter what decisions you make in the coming years, we will always be there for you. Oh, I'll never see my little rudder again, but at least we'll be able to remember him through you, Julie. Can you do that for us? Can you become the vibrant and happy Julie you used to be? Can you do it for Dave? <laughs> you too? Thank you so much. Yes, I will try. I'll do anything for my sweetheart. I'll become stronger to cherish his memories. I'll stay strong to keep him in my heart. who I am. I'm only here to tell you something important. <laughs> so I don't know where I am and then all of a sudden something confronts me and tells me it doesn't matter what it is. Yeah, this isn't weird at all. I know who you are, Dave, and I'm here for something very specific. Now will you let me speak? Wait, how do you know me? All right, ask me your question. Otherwise, I'm going nowhere with this. You look like an angel. Anyway, so I'm guessing I'm in heaven or something? Dave, since you died at a very young age, I'm willing to grant you one wish. It can be anything. One wish? It can be anything? Literally anything? That's right. So what is it going to be, Dave? What is it that you wish for? Hmm. I wish to be alive again. I wish to be with my mom again. Ugh. She must be feeling so guilty about what happened. I don't want her to be that way. I want her to live again and tell her that it's not her fault at all. Can you do this for me? Can you grant this wish for me? If that is what you wish, then it shall be granted. It has been done. Now, when your mother has a second child, your soul will be placed inside that body. You will be reborn as your mother's second child. Do you understand? Actually, I don't understand the details, but if it means I'll get to see my mom again, then that's what matters to me. Thank you so much, Miss Angel. Aren't you the most adorable thing ever? Hmm. Yes, yes, yes! And I'm surprised you can already speak a little! <laughs> I named him Dave so I can never forget Dave. This way, he'll always stay with me. Forever. <coughs> I'm sorry for suddenly barging in, but I couldn't help hearing our Dave. Hmm, come to think of it, he looks a lot like his dad, doesn't he? <laughs> Oh, please, he clearly looks like me. Look, he even has the same hair as me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the last two years have felt like a roller coaster. It feels like I've been with you forever, Carl. <laughs> I get how you feel. When I first met you, Julie, you were going through a lot. Of course, that wasn't much of a problem for me. I've always been the super social one. <laughs> You came at just the right time. I don't think I would have healed as quickly as I did if it weren't for you. I still remember my past sometimes and it really hurts me. But then I remember where I am and what I have now. I've been blessed with another child and a loving husband at the same time. I couldn't be any more grateful. <laughs> right back at you, Julie. We might have had a rocky start at first, but 
I'm so grateful to have you in my life. I couldn't have asked for anything else. Anyways, looks like Dave needs some alone time with his mom, doesn't he? I'll be off to work now, so you take care of yourselves, okay? I hope you two don't miss me too much. <laughs> okay, I'll miss you, Dada. <laughs> oh, dear. Looks like I'll be missing you two more than you'll miss me. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, is everything okay? You look like you have something to say. You can tell me anything, you know. Oh, um, actually, I do have something I want to tell you, Mom. Dave, before you do, can I just say that I'm so proud of how much you've grown. Oh, uh, what do you mean, Mom? You're only four, and yet you can speak so well. I think you have a gift, Dave. <laughs> hmm. It reminds me so much of my first son, your brother. He came to me several years before you did, but that was another life entirely. <sighs> he wasn't a speaker like you, but a runner? Hmm. Oh, uh, he loved running, huh? <sighs> he used to run around the room when I was around. He was adorable. It only feels like yesterday I saw him coming up to me, telling me about how much stamina he still had left. I've told you this before, but I miss him sometimes. No, I miss him all the time. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm going on a tangent again. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, back to you, Dave. What is it you wanted to tell me? I'm here for you whenever you need me, Dave. Actually, um, I don't know how to say this, but Mom... How would you feel if you could see Dave one more time? How would that make you feel? Hmm. Dave? <laughs> hmm. I'd do anything to hug him one last time. I have a feeling I'd become incredibly emotional, though. Emotional? In what way? Hmm? As I told you before, Dave, I still sometimes feel bad about not being there for your brother, Dave. It hurts me when I think about what happened to him. <laughs> of course, I've grown so much since then, so I never let the guilt take over me. So, to answer your question, I'd probably get extremely tearful if I saw him again. I would tell him one last time about how much I still love him. <sighs> if only I could see him again. Mom, you're about to get that chance right now! You can tell Dave about how much he means to you. You could show him how you're still by his side as always. Hmm? What do you mean, sweetheart? Dave passed away a while ago. Well, I wanted to tell you this before, but I could never figure out how. But here goes. Uh, Mom, your son Dave? He's me. It's me, Mom. It's Dave. Whoa. <laughs> Dave, what are you trying to tell me? You're not that Dave, you're Dave. I don't understand what you mean. Hmm. Mom, while you were still back at the tent, I was in so much pain. But I never blamed you for even a second. I never blamed you for leaving me alone outside with him. In fact, I was remembering all the times you protected me. I was remembering all the times you were by my side. Dave... How do you know about the camp? I've never told you about it. Could it be? Is... Is it really you, Dave? After I died, I was given a chance to be reborn. I was given a chance to come back to you as your second son. It's the only thing I've ever wanted, Mom. I wanted to see you again. I wanted to be by your side again. I... I don't know what to say. It really is you, Dave! I don't even know how I'm supposed to feel right now! Julie, dear, is everything okay? You don't look so well. Dave, can you tell me what happened? Maybe your mom was thinking about your late brother again. You know, your mom always gets really tearful thinking about Dave, doesn't she? 
Actually, Dad, I have to talk to you about that. Is that okay? Oh, me? <laughs> Definitely, Dave. Anything for you. It's hard to believe any of it. Wow. You, actually being Dave. It must have been so hard. I can't even imagine what you went through. Thankfully, it's all in the past now. I'm happy with what I have now. I'm happy to have a dad as supportive as you. If you don't mind me saying, I consider you my real dad now. I might be Dave inside, but I was reborn as Dave. I was reborn as your son, Dad. That... that means a lot to me, Dave. Thank you. Actually, now that I think about it, I'd like to be called Dave instead. Mom told me that it was you who chose that name for me. Right, Dad? In that case, I don't mind becoming Dave now. <laughs> That's fine by me, too. I'm just glad I can get the chance to talk to my son one more time. I love you, Dave. I always have, and I always will. I love you, too, Dave, and I promise to be the best dad that I can be. I have so much planned for the three of us together, you won't even believe it. A bakery, dozens of trips overseas, weekly family outings. Oh, just thinking about it makes me all so excited. <laughs> as long as I get to spend my time with my family, I don't care what it is. Still though, all of this sounds super fun. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it all too. Maybe, just maybe, I can get you to run like the old days, Dave. I know you don't do that anymore, but I can be very persuasive. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that, Mom. <laughs> <laughs>